Hey guys, we're Ninja 0 here. Today we are on 17W49A. Um, it is the most recent snapshot. It just came out like six, seven minutes ago. And what's cool about it is it added a new feature. Um, so here I can show this off by doing clear at P. You'll see there's hashtag wool and hashtag planks. Now these can't, these are broken, which is a shame. I mean, the snapshot just came out. I'm in a Discord server, and Dinderbuds is explaining that they're kind of broken right now. But, um, because people are trying. I did try to make my own, couldn't get it to work. So, that's great. Um, now, what you can do with these is here, let me actually show you. Now, I'm just opening this with Notepad, but you can, um, see. This is kind of what you do. You have your values, um, and yeah, it's basically you create a group. Um, so that's like the big thing. Now it doesn't actually work, which is a shame, but the way you'll use it is you'll use hashtag Minecraft the name. Now you'll actually Minecraft is actually your namespace. So if you know the tag format, it's um if, or if you know the data pack format the, your namespace, that's what that is used for. So yeah. Now, there's lots of different bug fixes, so hoppers could not pull items from double chests if the second chest was blocked. So that means, like, here, let me... It was like this, it couldn't take ch items out of that, but just bug. Now there is another bug I noticed. If I throw an item in there, it doesn't actually update until I update the comparator, which is a shame. Uh, the difficulty, it was untranslated, and so if you're in a different language, it stayed that. And it also was lowercase, which I thought was kind of weird. Now, I can't really show this off because I actually don't have any functions, but game roll, or game loop function, you couldn't have completed it. I can't actually show that off because, well, yeah, so... This is a bug, which I actually didn't know was a feature before. Lily pads could not be placed on ice. You can actually place lily pads on ice, which I think is pretty cool. Um, don't think it works with packed ice, though. If I can find packed ice. No, it doesn't work with packed ice, but normal ice, put lily pads on. So yeah, there's lots of different things you can do with the tags once they're actually added, but no one can get them to work as of I know. You should be able to do stuff like backslash clear at p hashtag minecraft planks, but when I actually enter this in, you can see it is even something. It's even when it shows up. But when I actually enter it, item tag does is unknown. No one can really get them to work, which is a shame. You can also use these in recipes. So you know your custom recipes, I actually did a video on that, which you can click the little I. Um, there's a lot more bugs, you can go read them. It, there's, I'll have in the description a link to every single bug fix, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's a shame that no one can get those to work. They'll be pretty cool. Basically, if you remember, data tags allowed you to like detect every single type of leaf. You can now use that with everything. So that means you could create um, entire tags for like every single colored item, every white item, every orange, something like that. So you could even do search stuff. So if you search stone, every single stone thing that pops up, you could do tag those. So I think it's going to be a super awesome feature. It also allows you to do some cool stuff. I know someone was working on making every single uh, stone tool using any stone. That's now super easy instead of having to do customize it. So have a recipe for this, then have a recipe for this, have a recipe for this. You can now just use stone uh, ta or like hashtag namespace stone. So that'll make it a lot easier. I think it'll be really cool to see. Then of course you have, there's just lots of different unique features about it that are, it's really going to be 
great feature once we get it working. Um, so, yeah, um, there's a lot more bugs, but that's pretty much it. So, be sure to check that out. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, then yeah, leave a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.